He madring kila ma tulunga pala mitya daya moda diko Maudyang na kaniva sinang bhaya pararva kya riva prartita Nili shambara nila mambara talang jambu palamaya yang Tang mun changir mambarang param rishan lambo darapatumam
Namaste. So this is an old Bengali devotional song by my Adi Gurus, 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 Guru. <laughs> and I changed the lyrics a little bit here and there to uh, reflect our current understanding and realization. But that's okay, it's fair use, not under copyright. So anyway, it's 200 years old. <laughs> so, Durlabha Manava Janma, this human birth, is extremely rare and difficult to attain. There are 8,400,000 species of life, according to the Vedas, and only about a dozen of them are human beings on planet Earth. So if you do a census, if you, you know, talk to any ecologist, how many insects, how many birds, how many other animals there are in the world? And you'll find there are many, many thousands of times more of the lower species than of the human species. In one scripture, there's a story given to illustrate this. In the vast ocean, the Pacific Ocean, there is a piece of driftwood floating. And the driftwood has a knot hole in it. Meanwhile, on the floor of the ocean, there's an ancient tortoise. Uh, tortoises can dive deep in the ocean and like hibernate and hold their breath for a long period of time. So about once a century, this tortoise comes up for air. Now, what are the chances that when he comes up, his head will go exactly through the knot hole in the board. Well, those are the odds of getting a human birth. So this human birth is so rare and so valuable because only in the human birth does one have developed intelligence to pursue the spiritual goals, Atma Vichara, to investigate who am I? What am I? What is my real self with a capital S? Atma Vichara. But he says, Atma Na Vichara Dukkha. I'm suffering because I didn't do this. See, this is a man lamenting at the end of life. That's why I, I didn't bother to try to record a perfect vocal. <laughs> you know, the voice cracks and the out-of-tune notes and everything is part of it. Because he's lamenting. I have this rare human birth, but I didn't take advantage of the opportunity. I didn't look into the spiritual life. And now here I am on my deathbed at the end of life. And oh, I am regretting that I wasted my life. And then he says, Kahibo kahare. Who can I tell this to? Who will understand? And then he goes on to say, well, what did I do in this life? Huh? At the end of life, there's something called life review, where you go back over the activities and the mind states of the life that you just lived. And you really, you are the judge and jury, you know, because in that state, when the uh, pineal and pituitary glands uh, become very active near the time of death, one gets all mystic powers and higher consciousness, and one can see actually what I should have done in this life, how I should have utilized my valuable time. But he's saying, no, I, I was in samsara. 
the round of birth and death. I was deluded by Maya. I got married, I had children, I worked at a, a job that I really didn't like just for money. I accumulated all kinds of possessions, so-called possessions. But when I die, what is going to happen to all these? What of my wife and sons? What of my house and my other possessions and my wealth? You know, I already lost my beauty, my youth, even maybe my intelligence. <laughs> As old age comes, often dementia will set in if you don't exercise your mind and keep it fresh. So what happens to all these things? Well, just like the material body is destined for destruction, so also are all the prized possessions and relations and friends and accomplishments and everything that you've done in this life. It's going to be finished. That's just the way it is. Huh? The Shakti creates suffering. Now, we talked about her yesterday, that one of the weapons she carries is an elephant goad. And this is a very sharp, uh, like, uh, ice pick type thing. You know, elephants have very tough skin. <laughs> and so our elephantine vices are also very tough. So how can we overcome them? Well, we have to have some motivation. And Shakti gives us that motivation in the form of suffering, that everything in this world is temporary and it will be taken away at the time of death. If we start to think about this, we have to do something to overcome this sansara. But he is lamenting in the song that I went through my whole life occupied with all of these nonsense things and I didn't even think, not even once in a day, that one of these days it's all going to be over. It's all going to be finished. And everything that I think I am, everything that I think I do and have and so on is going to pass away. So naturally, he's very upset. And he says, if you have any sharp intelligence, if you have the ability to inquire into things, to research, to contemplate, kindly don't waste this opportunity of human life, but go deep into this Atma Vichara. Who am I? What am I? What is this world? What is this life? Why is everything the way it is? And then you have a chance, you have the opportunity to perfect this human life. Otherwise, if you don't do the work, nothing's going to change. You can watch YouTube videos all day and night. <laughs> about spiritual stuff. But unless you sit down and actually do the meditation, do the work, do the sadhana, and all the things connected with it, you won't get the result. This is not entertainment, you see. This is the most profound, most important instruction on how to avoid wasting your life and winding up at the end, lamenting like the poor singer of this song, uh, this Bengali folk song. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.